Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Today's video, you guys, is going to be showing you guys how to grade that bikini top tutorial that I did, how to size it, how to go up in sizes or down in sizes. I'm going to be showing you guys. This is pretty lengthy. I think it's about 15, 16 something minutes of the tutorial and then the outro but this is what it's going to look like at the end of this tutorial okay i'm going to have to do the bikini bottom in a separate tutorial but to be honest it's the exact same guidelines as this um but i know you guys probably want an actual tutorial on how to go up and down on sizes which part to expand or what part to bring in on the bikini bottom but this is specifically for this one because you guys have been asking for the top in particular so i wanted to get this one out first now, um, in this, like I said, you're just going to need some paper. I'll go over that in a second. Once I get to the video, I'm looking a hot mess because I am sewing. I'm in the middle of producing my summer collection, so it'll be out in a few days. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns, any inquiries about this video, something if you are confused about anything that I explained, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll try to help you guys out as best as I can. But again, for the bikini bottom, I'm going to film that and it should be up after this one. So most likely Friday if I don't have another video going up. But let me know, you know, if you guys follow this video correctly. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so for this tutorial, you guys are gonna need some paper. You might wanna get a couple of pieces of paper just in case you mess up, but ultimately you're gonna need a single sheet of paper for sizing your patterns. If you um, can get multiple color pencils and pens or whatever, try to get different colors because it'll be easier for you to recognize the different sizes as you grade them. But ultimately you will just need a pencil or a pen once you start getting familiar with your patterns. Um, an eraser because you wanna do things in pencil first and you're going to need a ruler of some sort. And this is the ruler that I always use, the transparent pink one. So I'm gonna be using this. So first things first, just in case you didn't watch um, the last tutorial that I did on how to make a bikini top. I'm going to just give you guys a quick um, pattern setting for a triangle top. So feel free to follow this one if you haven't watched the other one, but ultimately the same sizing is going to happen. So if you already made the triangle top from the last tutorial, you can still use that pattern and do these exact same steps. So take your paper as always, and you're going to fold your paper in half because you want to have a crease for your pattern because ultimately, again, we're gonna be working on one side of this paper, but when you cut your pattern out, when you cut it on a fold, obviously when you open it back up, it will be a full pattern. So let's get to this. <laughs> First thing you're gonna use is your ruler and you're going to use a pen or a pencil, preferably a pencil. And you want to take your paper, oops, and on the fold, we're going to measure this out. We want it to be, when it fully opens, I want the bottom seam to be um, seven inches wide. So what I'm going to do is take my ruler. This is a two inch ruler, by the way, two inch up and two inches across. So I'm gonna take this and because I want it to be a complete seven inches across, what I'm going to do is make this middle seam line land on the three and a half inch mark. And I'm going to mark, I'm gonna slide it up just a little bit, mark my paper right there, and I'm gonna drag it all the way until I get to seven inches. So I'm gonna go from three and a half to seven on the fold. I'm gonna darken these um, later on in the, in the tutorial so you can see it just in case the pencil mark isn't picking up. But like I said, just from three and a half inches right here to seven and a half, in, I mean to seven inches, sorry, right here. And I'm gonna mark it just like that so you can see the line. And this is what I mean by once you open it and you actually cut this side, you will have this side because it's on a fold and it's doubled. So keep that in mind. Now what you wanna do is take your ruler and you wanna go up six inches. Now, this is just the standard size that I'm showing you guys. If once you get the hang of your patterns, you can totally make the triangle top um, longer, shorter, wider, however you want. This is just a basic triangle top pattern, okay? So don't shoot me. Um, but what I wanna do now is take this and I wanna go up six inches all the way to the top and let me try to, try to get you guys closer. Basically this is on six inches 
right at the half mark. So this is six inches up and a half inch over. And all I'm gonna do is mark my paper at the half mark. So I marked right here and that's down a half inch and over a half inch. So this is six inches all the way up, half inch over and a half inch down. That's the mark that I want to leave. Now, the next thing that I wanna do with this pattern, let me see if I can turn this. Does that help? I think that helps if I darken it just a little bit. Um, the next thing I wanna do from right here, from this half inch that I went down, is I want to create a curve all the way down until I reach this seven inch line. So I just wanna create a curve. If you don't have a curve ruler, it'll be a little bit more difficult for you. You can totally freehand it. I'm gonna take this curve because it's just easier to do so that way. And I'm just going to curve that line until it meets. Just like that. So it's a slight curve. It's not like a big bubble or anything. It's just a slight curve down. If you were to freehand it, all you have to do is slowly write dotted lines and then connect it. Now, the last thing I wanna do to this pattern is create a curve at the bottom like I did on the last one. The reason for this is because you want to make sure that once you put the casing in there that you have enough to cuff like the under boob instead of it just going straight across and you having to manipulate it a bit more. So in order to do that, again, I'm gonna take the curve ruler and if you're making a curve at the bottom, it's very important that you don't curve it from here. You don't wanna curve like this because when you open it, it's going to be like an upside down heart. So you want to just go straight and then curve. So make, make it like a straight curve line. It's hard to explain but I wanna make sure this is straight. And all I'm gonna do is take this and curve it. So this is our actual line, okay? This is the line that we are going to be grading from, this bottom curve right here. That's the line we are going to be using to curve. This line is just your guide. When you, again, when you get familiar with the patterns, all you have to do is curve it automatically so you don't have to worry about that line. So now that we have this, together let's start grading this pattern now what you want to understand is when you're looking at a pattern is how you feel when you look at your own body look at the parts that are horizontal when you put something on what spreads horizontally as opposed to what spreads vertically you want to understand how stretch actually works so with a bikini pattern it works just the same in clothing as well when you design a t-shirt and you design like your bodice patterns and things these are the same measurements you will be using so i'm going to show you guys how to grade this from a small which is what this is this is a small and then i'm going to show you how to grade outward to an extra large okay also how to take it in for an extra small so what you want to do is get your ruler everything that goes horizontal this way on this triangle top is going to go out an eighth of an inch so everything that's going this way is going out an eighth of an inch everything that's going to go down is going to come out a quarter of an inch okay so right here the first one I'm gonna be doing is an eighth of an inch let me try to zoom you in so you can see so everything that we're gonna do here is an eighth of an inch. The only thing that will, be not, will not be changing on this pattern is this right here. That will not be changing. This will stay a half an inch through the whole pattern, okay? That's not going to change. So what's gonna happen? How do, you, how do you do this? How do you determine how far to go up? The curve line, your pattern, the seam, is going to start coming out from here. So as it goes down, you know how the curve of your body or your, um, your breasts would be on your top, the curve is only going to change and be manipulated as you get closer to the bottom. So the first thing you wanna do is take your ruler and go out, start like lower, don't do it up here because it's gonna confuse you. Start about like midway, I guess, and you just want to notch it basically with little dots an eighth of an inch. You see that? That's an eighth. Actually, it's a little bit, that's more than an eighth. I'm sorry. So. That's my mistake. That is not an eighth of an inch. All right, there we go, that's an eighth. All right. Okay, 
That's an eighth of an inch. It's closer. See how close that those dotted lines are to this pattern? So you wanna keep doing that all the way down until you are down here to this to meet that line. So just go out a full eighth of an inch. Take your time because you want this to be even. Okay, do you see how it ends right here? That is an eighth of an inch. This line, you're going to bring this eighth of an inch into this area here, because this is not changing, like I said, this is not changing. So when you're grading, you're bringing that eighth inch all the way in. So all the lines are going to start curving out at the same place. It's gonna curve out from here, the next one is gonna curve out and go out another eighth inch, the next one is gonna go out another eighth inch, like that. So this is where we're at right now, right? Now you wanna take your ruler and grade from the curved line that we had, and you wanna go down from that curved line a quarter inch, which is right, oops. So a quarter inch down, that would be here. I'm just gonna go over a quarter. So these dotted lines right here, are a quarter inch down from this curved line here. Let me erase this so you guys don't get confused at which line I'm talking about now that you already have yours in place. So it's a quarter inch down from this line right here. And now in order to connect these two right here, these two lines, all you're gonna do is bring that quarter inch curve up until this eighth inch mark. And that is pretty, easy to do because you want to make sure that the curve stays all the way down. So we're curving, curving, and then it's an eighth inch from that line, which is right there. So, now we can see that. So this is a quarter inch curve going up, just slightly, a slight curve, and that eighth, eighth inch line is coming down into that curve. So when you connect all of this together, let's see. That's going to be your eighth inch line going out. And that's going to be your quarter inch line going in. So this is a size small. Like I said, this first one, that's a small. This second line, that's a medium. We're gonna do the exact same thing all the way to an extra large. Now for the extra small, all you would do is go up the exact same way. So let's do the extra small, just so you can see that if you had to size this up instead of down, all you would do is the exact same thing. So you take your ruler, you would line it up here and make sure you go up a quarter inch, just right there. All the way until you're an eighth of an inch. Let me just go in an eighth of an inch from here, which is right. there so that will be your eighth inch line and again it doesn't change it's just going in from here an eighth of an inch so I'm just gonna mark this quickly from that line so that's an eighth See how it constantly keeps coming out of the same spot? So that is an eighth inch all the way down and a quarter inch above 
the small for an extra small and again when you connect all of this stuff together it will look just like It will look just like that. So now we have already graded an extra small, a small, and a medium. It's super easy, you guys, I promise. And nothing has changed about this top. We're only bringing it down as the part of your breast where someone is who is a size larger, larger than you, they will obviously have more volume to their breast area. So you will bring that line outward, but you also bring it down because you want them to have that extended area because of course your breasts get larger depending on what size you are. So literally that is it. I'm gonna do the same thing you guys and I'm not gonna talk through this part I'm just gonna time lapse it for you guys but it's the same thing so just keep in mind going outward you guys is an eighth an eighth inch going down is a quarter okay that's that's it that's the basis of this so I'm gonna go through this part and I'm gonna show you guys once it's done Alright you guys, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, on this bikini pattern, just for an overview, when you are sizing it, you want to expand the outside parts an eighth of an inch and you want to go down on the pattern a quarter quarter of an inch but make sure you leave this alone you don't want to grade up on the top part unless you are trying to expand the height difference and even still you can always go lower on the bottom depending on the, the design that you want but this one in particular is just a quarter down and an eighth inch out if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button as well and go to the comment section like i said and you know i'll see you guys on the next one peace